today's video, we're going to be looking at one problem and I'm going to do a slope review for you to understand how to graph from standard form, slope intercept form, and how to know how to properly shade when we're talking about linear inequalities. Starting this video off, we need to understand the difference between standard form, which is AX plus BY is equal to C, and slope intercept form, where Y is equal to MX plus B. What you see on my screen right now that I'm circling in white, this is standard form. So if I asked you guys, hey, I want you to graph this line by intercepts, all we have to do is make one variable zero. So let's say we're solving for x. So I have 4x, right, plus 2 times 0 is equal to 12. So I know 4x is equal to 12. After we divide, x is equal to 3. So that point is going to be at 3, 0, right? So that's 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 somewhere right here. Let's let's put a, a point on the line, on, on the graph. Now let's say I go back and I do the same thing for my y. So now I have 4 times 0 plus 2y is equal to 12. 2y is equal to 12. That means y is equal to 6. My coordinate is 0, 6. So if I wanted to graph this by intercepts, this is how I would do it, and I would not need to know what the, the, the rise over run is or the slope. And guys, I'm sorry that my line isn't the, the most straight. I'm trying to keep it straight for you all, right? All right, there we go. So that's one way we could graph, right? Now, let's say if I said to you guys, okay, hey, let's switch from slope intercept form to standard form. How would we do that? All we have to do is just solve for y, whether it's an inequality or an equation. So after I subtract 4x, we're going to have 2y is equal to negative 4x plus 12. Now, the next thing I need to do is what? Exactly. I'm going to just divide by 2. Everything by 2. So let's just put 2, right? So y is now equal to negative 2x plus 6. So now let's say Mr. Peters went back and we stayed in pink. So now I have my, my y-intercept at 6, right? Hopefully you guys can see this. Slide over some more. Have it at 6. And now it's telling me then I'm going to go down 2 over 1. So down 2 over 1. Here goes another point. Right? Let's see if I did it one more time to get another point. Down 2 over 1. And if you look, right, those dots are lining up on the line I already drew. Why? Because it's the same exact line. The only difference... The only difference is that one is in standard form and one is in slope intercept form, but it's the same line. Now, let's say, right, we, we understand that lesson so far, that, that concept. Now, let's say I came back to you and I said, all right, we mastered that. Now, I want you guys to tell me, how do we know if a point falls on a line? So, let's say I gave you this point, right? I gave you the point 2, 2, right? This is point number 1. And then I gave you the point 4, 1. How would we know? Very simple. We're just going to plug and check. So let's plug these in. So I know x is 2, y is 2, right? So 4 times 2 plus 2 times 2 is equal to 12. So I have 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. Yes, the point 2, 2 does fall on this line because the equation is equal to itself. If it wasn't, it would not be a point on the line. Now I'm going to switch over to pink and let's do our second point, 4, 1. So now I have 4. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go back. Yep, I have 4 times 4 plus 2 times 1 is equal to 12. You guys should know that this is false, right? 16, let's scroll up some more. 16 plus 2 is not equal to 12 right? 18 is not equal to 12. So we know that this point 4, 1 would not fall on the line that we just graphed. Now let's, now let's say we go back one more time, right? 
And hey, you know, if you found this video helpful, guys, you know, smash the like button for us. Leave a comment down below if there's any questions or any concerns you guys had. We want to make sure that we get them all. Now, let's just say, right, we're now focused on the, focusing on the inequality. So now we're here. 4x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 12, right? How would we know where to shade or what side to shade? First, let's 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 switch this, right? We're gonna switch this over to standard, I mean slope intercept form, which is y is greater than or equal to negative two x plus six, right? Let's say we had that. And I and I and I asked you, hey, is the point zero zero a solution? So now Understand that when we're talking about shading linear inequalities, it does not, the point does not have to fall on the line. It could also fall in the shaded region, okay, especially if it's a, or equal to inequality. So let me show you guys exactly what I mean. So let's say I use the point, oops, let's erase a little bit. Let's say I use the point zero, zero. I want to know, does that fall in the shaded region? And I want to use the point four zero. All right. So we're going to plug it into this equation. So now we're saying zero is greater than or equal to negative two times zero plus six. So I know zero is greater than or equal to six. No, that's wrong. So wherever the point zero zero is, I do not want to shade in that region because it's not a true statement. Now let's say we go back, right? Let's let's find some more space. I know I'm all over the place, guys. Forgive me. I'm just excited about today's lesson because people have been inboxing me about it so much. So let's say we go back now, right? We change the order the ordered pair. So now I'm saying that hey Zero is greater than or equal to negative two times four plus six. So now I'm saying zero is greater than or equal to negative eight plus six. Zero is greater than or equal to negative two. So now the point four zero is in the shaded region because it's a true solution, right? So what does that mean? That means that in this, in this, in this problem, we should be shading above this line right here that you see on my screen. And I want you to understand. So for a, a negative slope, right, above the line is greater than or equal to. Under the line is less than or equal to. Now let's say if we had a different type of slope, like one that's positive, like what you're seeing on my screen right here right so this is the this is the line right positive slope when we say greater than or equal to for positive slope right when we're shading it'll be above the line like that for a positive slope if we're talking about less than or equal to it'll be on the bottom of the line so just understand how greater than or less than and where to shade with inequalities changes when we have a positive slope versus a negative slope. And like I said, guys, thank you so much for joining us today on Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments for future videos you guys would like to see on our channel or if you had questions from today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining us today.